Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it's the 1st of October which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around to take a look at this month's free printable, see my first set of cards, and find out how you can download the printable for free. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. The first of the month is always an exciting time around here. It is when I debut the newest sheet load of cards. If you're new to my channel or new to Sheetload of Cards, it is a free printable I put out each month for my subscribers, and it shows you how to make the most of your pattern paper and cardstock to create a sheetload of cards. This is usually anywhere between 6 and 12 cards, depending upon the sketch. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the printable for the month, and then I will show you the first set of cards I made creating it. Then at the end of the video, if you're interested in downloading it for yourself, I will tell you how to do that. Now tomorrow, I'm going to be back to show you how I made the first set, and my team of collaborators will be sharing what they made for October 2022. The first and the second are always exciting days around here. Now, if you're not already subscribed or follow my collaboration team, everybody is linked in that description box below, so you can go ahead and take care of that today so you're all ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and take a look at the October 2022 sheet load of cards. Here's a look at the October 2022 sheet load of cards. As always, it is a two-page printable. On the first page, you have the new sketch and the supply list. And on the second page, you have the cutting guides. If you follow the supply list and the cutting guides for this month, you are gonna yield nine cards from just three six by six pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock, of course. So once again, this is a special edition to use your six by six paper. But never fear, if you have 12 by 12, just cut those down and use that. If you get in the crafty mood to make a sheet load of cards and share it online, I do have some hashtags up here on the top of the page that I would love for you to use so I can see what you're creating. You can also send in a card for the end of the month video, so I do have the Show Us Your Sheet Load Guidelines video linked down in that description box. Now, if you don't quite want to make a sheet load, if you just like the layout and want to make a card or two, which this would be a great one for scraps of pattern paper, I do give the dimensions for each of the pieces down here. Also at the bottom, I have some alternatives. You could rotate the sketch, use some ephemera, embellishments, or you could add layering with foam tape. This is just a jumping off point for you to make it your own. On page two, the cutting guides, I show your nine card bases, which even though I show mine top folding on the short edge, you can definitely make them fold along the five and a half inch edge as well. CS1 is a cardstock for matting, and you'll need three sheets of that cut as shown. And then for CS2, this is going to be your sentiment piece. And because these are small squares of cardstock, if you have pieces of scrap cardstock you could use, this would be a great place for it. Another special feature of this month's sheet load of cards is the fact that you're going to use every bit of your 6x6 paper, so you won't have to worry what you're going to do with the scraps. I would like to point out and give a special shout out to my channel members. Thank you once again for your continued support here on YouTube. Did you know that you can join channel membership for as little as $1.99 a month? And not only do you keep me crafting here on YouTube, but you keep Sheetload free for all subscribers. I am honored to have each and every one of my channel members. If you want to find out more about channel membership, I do have a link in the description box below. 
or you can click the join button below this video. Before I share my first set of cards, why don't we go ahead and look at the main supplies I use this month. Here in front of me are the main supplies that I use for this month's cards. Tomorrow you'll see how I use each of them, but I thought today I would share a look at them with you. Even though this is October sheet load of cards, I actually made my set in September. And you know last month that I was focusing on using my stash. So today some of my supplies are a little bit vintage. Some of them you will still be able to find online, others you can just find stuff in your own stash to use for your sheet load of cards. For my pattern papers, which again we need three six by sixes, I chose these three from the Not Too Shabby Artsy Girls paper pad. Now the reason I chose this set was because I knew I wanted to use the coordinating stamp set and these papers go with it so well. I just love those artsy little gals and the coordinating papers. And speaking of stamp sets, over on the left are the two that I used. For my sentiment and some little accent splotches, I use this clear stamp set from Tailored Expressions called Crafty Mrs. Happiness. I did the Crafters Gonna Craft sentiment and the Craftiness is Happiness. These cards will eventually go out to members of my channel, so I thought those two sentiments were very fitting. I also wanted to have like a little embellishment or accent, so I kind of made my own ephemera with the Brighten My Day stamp set from Not Too Shabby. Down here in the bottom you see that paintbrush, and I used that and put one on each of my cards. There are a couple of these stamp sets left if you want to check it out. For my inks, I got out Gina K Designs, Blue Raspberry and Passionate Pink. And for my matting cardstock and my card bases, I got out the same color cardstocks from Gina K Design. Let's go ahead and take a look at that first set. I hope you enjoyed getting that look at my first set of cards. A couple things I did want to just note vocally is I did end up putting a piece of white paper on the inside for the personal message later and I did a stamp off down here in the bottom left of one of the images from this stamp set. Now to add a little extra fun, yeah, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but on the tip of the paintbrush where the paint is, I added some glossy accents. I think that's just a nice fun way to add something extra. Now let me tell you how you can download the free printable. If you are ready to get crafty with the October 2022 sheet load of cards, here's what you need to do. First off, I do ask that you're subscribed to my channel. It's quick, it's free, it's easy. Please, before you click on the link, which I'll tell you where it's at here in just a minute, make sure you have already subscribed. And hey, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and ring that bell and turn on all notifications. You are gonna find the link to the October 2022 sheet load of cards in the description box right above my YouTube team member list. Below the link, it will say to watch the video for a password, but you watching this far is your password. You can open it up, view it, and use it from screen, or you can download it to your device to print out. Also, even though mine is printed in color, it will work just as well in black and white. Don't forget, if you're gonna show us your sheet load, to use the hashtags at the top, I can't wait to see what you're creating. Another thing I can't wait for is to come back tomorrow with the process video and to share what my team of collaborators has created for the month. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. 
I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.